This video shows how to install an EZH2O bottle filling station with cooler. Prior to installation, please read the product installation manual and all warning labels. At any time during installation, you can refer to the installation instructions for additional details. Advanced preparation includes installing an electrical outlet, water supply line, and waste drain, if not already present, where the water cooler will be located. LK recommends having the plumbing and electrical handled by a licensed professional plumber and a licensed professional electrician, per the instructions in the installation manual and all local building codes. Here are the tools you'll need to install the EZH2O bottle filling station. Note that power cords are not included with all models. Purchase these separately or contact your local distributor for more options. Not all hardware is included, so you'll need to provide some screws, washers, and other fasteners your wall type may require. Start by putting on safety glasses and cut-resistant gloves, as metal edges can be sharp or rough. Before you begin, turn off water and electricity to the installation location. Throughout the installation process, be sure to follow local plumbing, electrical, and other applicable codes. Remove the screw, securing the hanger bracket to the back of the cooler. Measure and mark 371 millimeters, or 28 and 13 16 inches, from the floor to the lower mounting holes. Using a screw, attach the bracket by screwing into the bottom middle hole. Then check to make sure the bracket is level. Securely anchor the hanger bracket to the wall, using all six mounting holes and fasteners. Be sure this bracket is supported securely. Use additional structural support if the wall doesn't provide adequate support. Remove the four screws that secure the front panel, located at the bottom of the cooler. Set these screws aside, you'll need them later. Remove the lower front panel by pulling straight down. Place the cooler onto the hanger bracket, making sure the brackets are properly engaged in the slots on the back of the cooler. Using two appropriately sized screws and washers, secure the unit to the wall using the bolt holes at the bottom of the unit. Make sure the screws engage in a structural member. Now you're ready to connect the water line. We recommend using a stub of 3 8 inches outside diameter. The line shouldn't protrude from the wall more than 76 millimeters or 2.99 inches. To install the trap, remove the slip nut and gasket from the trap and attach to the cooler waistline. Make sure the end of the waistline fits into the trap. Attach the slip nut and gasket to the trap and tighten securely. Now, unbox the bottle filling station. Remove the two mounting screws holding the top cover. Then remove the top cover. Don't discard the mounting screws. You'll need them to reinstall the cover. You disengage the wall plate from the bottle filling station and place the plate against the wall on top of the basin. Center the wall plate on the basin and mark the six mounting holes with a pencil. Using appropriate fasteners for your wall type, attach the wall mounting plate to the wall. Be sure it's supported securely. Use additional support if needed. To avoid scratching the basin, you can place a towel or soft cloth over the basin when working above it. Install the black gasket on the bottom of the bottle filling station using the included gasket support bracket and two screws. Connect water line to bulkhead fitting and connect electrical connector. Place the bottle filling station on the angled tabs protruding from the wall mounting plate. Using the screws you set aside, reinstall the top cover on the bottle filling station. Don't over tighten the screws. Next, remove the water filter from the carton. Discard the protective cap and attach the water filter to the filter head by firmly inserting and rotating the filter counterclockwise. Make sure the front label is facing forward. Turn on the water to the unit. Inspect for leaks and correct any leaks before moving on to the next step. Plug the cooler and bottle filling station into the wall. Activate the push bar to start water flowing into the bubbler. Placing a cup over the bubbler will direct the water stream down into the bowl as the water line is cleared of air. The stream height is factory set at 35 pounds per square inch. If your supply pressure isn't 35 PSI, you'll need to adjust the stream. The adjusting screw is on the right side of the unit under the push bar. Turn to the right to raise the stream. Turn to the left to lower the stream. 
Ideally, water will hit the basin approximately 165 millimeters or 6.5 inches from the bubbler on the downward slope of the basin. If continuous flow occurs at the end of the compressor cycle, turn the cold control one quarter turn to the left. Now, verify that the bottle filling station is dispensing water correctly by placing a cup in front of the sensor area. Once you've tested the unit, replace the bottom panel and secure it to the cooler with four screws you set aside when you remove the panel. The unit is now ready for use. Congratulations! You've installed an environmentally friendly LK-EZH2O bottle filling station with cooler.